I am standing where the Tokoma complex building is being constructed. In the coming months, a concrete box will be built in the excavated area, which will consist of a 1.5 meter thick floor slab and wall, the so-called ground support structure. So what's going to be built here? The complex consists of three buildings. The Tokamak building, which will host the Tokamak machine, where the fusion reaction will be carried out. The building to store the fuel needed for the fusion reaction. And the diagnostics building, which will host the equipment to measure the results of the experiment. These buildings will be constructed on top of approximately 500 anti-seismic bearings. These bearings are installed for safety reasons as they will reduce the force of a potential earthquake and they will protect the fusion equipment inside the buildings. There are currently up to 150 people working on the construction of the buildings and by 2014 there will be around 3000 people working here in order to develop the buildings to host this fusion experiment. So what is fusion? Fusion is the process that powers all the stars in the universe, including our own sun. It involves combining or fusing small nuclei that is the cores of atoms to make larger nuclei. And in the process, huge amounts of energy are released. The nuclei being used for earthbound fusion are those of deuterium and tritium, both forms of hydrogen. The process is incredibly efficient. For example, one kilogram of this fuel is the equivalent of about 10 million kilograms of coal. And the primary waste product? It's helium, which is completely safe and non-polluting. Deuterium is freely available in seawater, and tritium can be produced from lithium, the 25th most abundant element on Earth. So, how do we make fusion happen in ITER? Well, we need to heat the deuterium and the tritium to extremely high temperatures, around 100 million degrees centigrade. At this temperature, they exist as a plasma, also known as the fourth state of matter, where the fusion reaction will occur. This reaction will take place in the huge ITER vacuum vessel, where the super-hot fusion plasma is kept away from the vessel walls that is confined by powerful magnetic fields. The vacuum vessel is the largest component of the ITER machine. Its complexity, size and degree of precision required to build it make this one of the import, most important components and most challenging for, from the point of view of the technological um, challenges. The ITER vacuum vessel will be uh, twice as big and 16 times heavier than any existing fusion machine. It's located in the core of the tokamak. It is actually the chamber that hosts the fusion reaction where plasma particles collide and release energy. Basically, it's a complex donut-shaped uh, structure composed of nine um, sectors, like this one that I have in, uh, in hand, and uh, uh, made of a special uh, thick stainless steel. Each sector of this one is about 13 meters high and more than 6 meters wide and 6 meters deep. The entire vacuum vessel will weigh something like 50,000 tons, which is about the weight of the Eiffel Tower. Outside of the vacuum vessel, there is a uh, superconducting, toroidal superconducting magnets that will produce the intense magnetic field necessary to confine the hot particles from the wall of the vacuum vessel. There are other magnets as well, the poloidal field coils, for example, that heat the plasma to several hundred million degrees Celsius, uh, Celsius that is the temperature necessary to achieve fusion. The heat of the ether fusion reaction will be removed by water that will circulate uh, inside the shells of the, of the vacuum vessel. Uh, in the future, the steam from the water will be used to operate a turbine which will produce electricity in the normal way. And this is the target of the fusion research that we are uh, making.